With all the work done in this kitchen, getting everything to match and flow, this sad range hood is a letdown. It works great, it's just the color doesn't. I'm Anna, and I'm giving this range hood a facelift. I've never done this before, but after chatting with the paint department at Home Hardware, I have a plan, a really simple plan, sand and spray paint. I can't remove the range hood, not because I can't, but because my dad built all the cabinets around the range hood, so I can't get it down. Instead, I have to protect everything. But before I do that, I need to give it a good clean. The range hood is clean and the stove has been covered up with a sheet of plastic, so I can sand and not totally like ruin everything here. So I just have some 220 grit, I don't know, a sponge to help me and gloves and I'm just gonna give it a quick little sand. Like I don't have to take off anything. It's just, just, just rough up the surface so the paint can stick. Nice and easy. I'm ready to paint, but I have to protect everything. I am spray painting and that's gonna get everywhere. It'll give me a great finish, but I do need to spray paint everything. So I have plastic, like big sheets of plastic, cardboard, lots of masking tape, and I'm going to cover everything up just so the plumes and the spray paint doesn't get anywhere except for that range hood. So we're gonna take off a door and start covering. We've covered everything up and that took a long time and I even kinked my neck doing it trying to like get into all the corners, but I'll survive. Now, time to spray paint and this is what I'm using. This is metal paint and it has the primer built in. So, right into spray paint. I spray paint and then you have an hour, within an hour you have to do the second coat. So, spray paint, lunch, spray paint, sounds like a good afternoon. Your spray paint results will look best if you apply multiple thin coats instead of one heavy coat. The heavier your coat of paint, the more likely you'll end up with drip lines and a splotchy finish. I only needed to do two coats. Because it's spray paint, it dries quickly. So in the same afternoon, we could remove all the barriers and replace the cabinet doors. You can't wipe down the actual range hood for 48 hours. That's a perfect excuse to order in instead of cooking. What did we learn today? Well, we learned that if you have an old range hood that doesn't match your kitchen, all you need is a can of spray paint. Really, and it takes just a day. I am so impressed with how easy this was, but if you can actually take the range hood out of the kitchen and spray it outside, that will um, save you a world of scrubbing. I did have to, like, even though we had everything covered, I had to scrub the floor, the cabinets over, the, the counters over there, and it did create a bit more extra work. So if you can take it down, take it down, spray paint it outside, way better. But it does now fit in with the kitchen and just is like the last little thing to tie this kitchen together. I hope you enjoyed this project, and if you did, you can give this video a like, and I'll see you soon with another project. Bye. This sad range hood is a letdown. I don't remember what I was gonna say next. Oh yeah, a really simple plan. And then I forgot what it was. Okay. Sand. Sand and spray paint. I know it's so easy when you're on that side remembering the lines. But after chatting with the paint department at Home Depot. Home Depot. No, I wasn't at Home Depot. Is that okay? Yeah, that'll be good. Okay.